Hey folks, your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic, and today what I'm working on is I am replacing the transmission cooler lines on my 2500 HD Duramax truck. <clears throat> As you know, this has been a multi-part series, sort of, with all the stuff that I've had to fix and replace on it. Um, I get these on, that'll narrow it down to fuel lines and pinion seal that's still waiting for me and right rear axle seal and probably other things that I'm forgetting but um, slowly we're dwindling them down. So let's get to the transmission lines. Um, this is already in progress. Um, I'll show you what I did so far. It wasn't much, just got some things out of the way and stuff that you guys really uh, don't need to see because uh, you've seen it a hundred times on my channel and others. So um, let's go over there to the transmission lines and um, we'll get to her. I gotta take these transmission lines out and replace them. You can see they're rusty and of course they go from here and they go up to the radiator and I'll show you that where they go but there's there's a tool to take these out which I've heard you know people say that um, the tool doesn't work that great. Other people say you can take that jiffy tight spring clip out and just pull these out. That's the way I'm going to go because I don't have the tool and I am, believe it or not, I am not going to buy another tool to do this. I am just going to try and pull them out. Um, I'll show you here how I do it and how I make out. Alright, we'll go up to the front and I'll show you where these are at in the radiator and how I'm going to have to get around that and try to get these out up there. Um, I'll show these back here. I'm not going to show the ones up there because there's just no room at all to get the camera in there. None. So let me show you what I'm up against up front and then I'm going to set the camera up while I fight one of these just to see how it goes. We'll see how one comes out and then um, uh, when I go to put them back in I'll, you know, I'll be back. So here's what I did up front. I had to take the rubber piece out of here that goes for your uh, air induction and the tranny line. I'm going to turn the light on. I don't know if this will be better or worse. But the tranny line actually is right here and goes behind this. And I'll try and stick the camera in there. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see it. Probably not because of the lighting and stuff. It's hard to get a good picture. But that looks the same going in the radiator there. But as you can see, i got to get back behind this to get that clip out and then try to pull this straight out. Alright, well, to get these uh, one of these lines off, I had to come up here to the actual transmission cooler. That line there is the one that I have to take off. Um, looks like the transmission cooler might have a leak, so something new and exciting. And as you can see, I had to take the grill out to do this and remove it. Um, I'll put a link in here to my other video that I just uh, removed the grill and stuff on another 2500 HD, which is the same process. Won't show it again. I'll just put a link if you want to go and see that and how to do it to get to this point. And if you look, I took the skid. I had to take the skid plate off to access it underneath there. The other part laying there actually. goes in here I had to take that off because you, you can pull this line down underneath here and pull everything out I'm pretty sure so we're gonna give that a whirl um, and uh, we'll see what happens alright so I'm gonna take the spring clip out of this top one and keep hitting my head off this truck uh. That's all it is, a little spring clip there. It looks like that that you pull out of there. Then this should come out of there. It's probably going to need a little bit of help coming out.
take this spring clip off the bottom one. And the one on the cooler is uh, of course right there. So all I'm going to do is pop those clips off like I just did down below and then we'll set the camera up down below and you can see me pull and tug to try and get these out. Uh, I don't know how much I'll show because I think it's going to be a show to do it but we'll see what happens. Now just so you know, I'm not going to take the camera out there and take it down to go out and do it, but they matched up. They're very close. The one has a little bit different bend, the shorter one, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. So we're just going to um, get them and start fishing them back through here.
And I think there's the other one. So there they are. There they are, both in. It's just a matter of what way you want to put them in. So I'm just going to put the clips in now, take the tape off, put the clips in, and uh, get everything put back together. I ran her through reverse neutral while she was on there, on here a couple times with it running. No leak here. Thank goodness. Maybe when we put pressure on it, I don't know. Let's go underneath. No apparent leaks there. I guess, uh, that's a good thing. Don't see anything running down the frame there. Okay, so what you have to do now is put the grill in this top piece back in, the piece down there uh, put this inner fender well back on and of course my piece of my air duct down in there and um, I think at that point this job will be um, done. Well, so there you have it folks. That's replacing the upper and lower uh, lines on the transmission. I still got another one that goes from the cooler back to the radiator. It looks like that's not healthy and I actually should get the transmission cooler. So there's still other stuff to do. Uh, the one on the cooler, I'm going to let it go for now. Keep an eye on it. It won't be much to pull that grill back out to get to that one and underneath that's the easiest one so uh, probably before I do any real work with it I'll get that but I've just been putting money out left to right in this thing and I gotta slow down and for tools so anyhow that'll wrap this one up and this is your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube Mike the disgruntled mechanic saying just remember if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off thanks for watching subscribe See you next time.